In this video, we'll be showing you how to assemble your swivel flow ring. On this side, we also have a hydraulic remote control. This will be lowered down using a chain connected to two of the keeper ring bolts. After removing the chain, be sure to remember to install the remaining two bolts on the keeper ring. Next, you install the wiper ring, sliding all the way down until it hits the top of the hydraulic swivel. Next, you'll want to install the retainer ring, making sure that it's firmly in its slot all the way around the body. When installing the bearing, it's good to make sure that all services that the bearing has to travel over are well lubricated for installation. Here we use a brass rod and a hammer to put the bearing in place before installing the swivel. Once the bearing is seated on the lower retaining ring, it is now time to grease the bearing before installing the swivel. Here we use a chain and two bolts to lower the swivel over the body for installation. This point is an imperative that you lubricate and check all surfaces so as not to damage the seals when you're installing your swivel. You are now ready to install your swivel. Keep in mind when lowering on your swivel to keep it straight and level so as not to bind on the seal surface and bearing surfaces. You might need to use a rubber mallet to finish putting the swivel completely down onto the bearing. It is crucial to be sure that the swivel is completely seated on top of the bearing. Next, during the installation of the lower keeper ring, make sure the wiper ring is installed properly so as not to bind your lower keeper ring from being attached to the sub. Now is the time to make sure that you properly line the holes for bolting in the keeper ring. And just a reminder, be sure that all the bolts that you use are properly greased before installing this ring. After greasing the top bearing, you can now slide it over the adapter and start using the brass rod once again to seat the bearing firmly into its slot. You will know the bearing is completely seated when you can install your retaining ring into its slot. With the retaining ring in place, you now can install the upper keeper ring with the installed wiper ring on top of the swivel and aligning the holes so you now can install the reaction plate using the greased bolts you saw before. With the reaction plate installed, we now can finish the hydraulic swivel installation by raising it and aligning the holes for the mounting bolts. Be sure to align both holes before install mounting bolts for proper installation.
Now with the completion of the assembly of your swivel head, you now can assemble the rest of the body.